What's up guys, it's Will back again and today's review is Passengers. Sorry for the delay in this video going up, but I had to actually get a cyst removed from my neck, which was a whole surgical procedure because they had to cut it out. So, you know, a little bit late on the video this time. Hopefully you can see that right there. Four stitches right in my neck, so yeah, it hurts. Passengers is a science fiction romance film that was directed by Morton Tildum and takes place around the 2050s where the starship Avalon is transporting over 5,000 passengers to a planet called Homestead 2 that's being colonized by humans. The passengers and crew members are placed in hibernation tanks and set to wake up approximately 90 years later when they're about to reach Homestead 2. While two passengers, Jim played by Chris Pratt and Aurora played by Jennifer Lawrence, inexplicably wake up early early as their hibernation pods malfunction and they desperately try to find a way to put themselves back into hibernation. But this isn't their only problem. They eventually realize that the ship they're traveling on has a number of issues going on and if they don't solve them quickly, everyone on board will meet a bitter end. And the rest of the film is spent watching Jim and Aurora attempt to fix the starship Avalon and hopefully put themselves back into hibernation while we also watch the two develop a romance with one another in outer space. Okay, so to be honest, I saw the passengers trailer like a million times because they showed it before basically every movie I saw in theaters and I always thought that it looked all right but I had a sneaky suspicion that it was gonna be kind of not that great. Sadly my suspicion was right. I think the biggest problem I had with this movie is how slow it moves along and just generally how it kind of is a snooze fest for like two-thirds of it. The trailer is actually pretty misleading because the movie that was advertised to you basically everywhere for the last couple months is not the movie you actually get. Most of the time is spent watching our two co-leads just simply do things around the ship to pass the time, like swim or play basketball or have a dance off or something. And while this is a integral part of the story, because we need to see how our characters are psychologically affected by their isolation and how they choose to spend their time, the fact that it's the main focus for so long becomes problematic because of how redundant and boring it becomes. I think a lot of people are going to go into passengers expecting the main focus of the film to be our two co-leads trying to figure out what's wrong with the ship and how to save everyone on board. Although that's the version of the movie The Trail sold us all, that's not really what you get. That part is saved until the third act and not even really discussed by our two main characters ever before that point. Instead, the filmmaker is elected to deliver us a film that documents the lives and romance of two people that are attempting to cope with the fact that they're eventually going to die of old age aboard the ship and there's nothing they can really do about it. And that sounds kind of fascinating because I think there's so much you could explore here from a psychological standpoint. And to be fair, you do get that in the first 25 minutes or so. And that was cool, but after that, you kind of just watch our characters play basketball and eat breakfast until shit starts going down in the third act. I think this movie had so much potential to be an interesting take on the sci-fi genre because the premise is actually a really cool one, but the execution and mixture of the various elements didn't work and it sank the film. Because in every sci-fi movie nowadays, you expect great visuals and cool CGI of space, and you absolutely get that here. But the problem is that those things are pushed to the side while other less interesting elements take center stage. That is until act three when things actually start picking up and our characters realize something's actually wrong with the ship and they relay a sense of urgency that the film desperately needed. The climax is explosive and action packed and everything that I think most people want a little taste of earlier on but you never get. I also say that it ends very strong. If only the rest of the film operated like the last 30 minutes it could have been great. I think Passengers is really a romance film first and foremost and I want you guys to go in with the right expectations because if not I think you're going to be even more disappointed. The chemistry between Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt is there sometimes and other times not. I liked each of their performances individually, but there were definitely times where it just didn't feel the connection between the two. And the weight is put entirely on the shoulders of these two characters and their romance. And since I wasn't always sold on their connection with one another and how it evolved on screen, the quality of the film as a whole took a dip. I was definitely impressed by the range Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence showed off here, but I can't say the romance really felt all that genuine to me. One other actor I want to mention though is Michael Sheen, who plays Arthur the robot bartender aboard the Starship Avalon. He was great and provided some really nice comic relief in a film that oddly lacks it from Chris Pratt, who's not really given much of an opportunity to show off his comedy chops. A lot of the conversations between Arthur, Aurora, and Jim are really nicely written and added a lot of flavor to the film because they made the slow pace a little bit more entertaining. But overall, I gotta say that I was very disappointed with Passengers. I did think it had some beautiful visuals, nicely acted and written character interactions, and a very strong act three and ending. Sadly, I also felt the pace was much too slow, the romance didn't always feel genuine, the mixture of sci-fi action and romance felt unbalanced, and the first two acts are boring. I'm gonna give 
give Passengers a 6 out of 10 and recommend that you pass on this one in theaters unless you love Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence and feel like you have to see them together on the big screen. So did you guys see Passengers yet? What did you think of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if not, let me know whether you'd be interested in watching this film or not. And as always, if you like this video, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for much more content like this. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next video.